Mason, could I talk to you for a minute? Of course, Peter. The least I can do for the man who single-handedly saved my sister's life. Uh, Mason, you better get Kelly checked out at the hospital right away. Ambulance is on its way. Good. Oh, you, uh... You better take this as evidence. You can use it against him. Thank you, Peter. Of course, it's unlikely that there'll be any fingerprints on it but yours right now, but uh, I'll make sure we go over it carefully. Yeah, the money's still in there, too. I had to leave it behind. Really? That's incredible. And you're a double hero. There's no end to the capital indebtedness to you. Well, it certainly isn't what was on my mind when I was trying to get Kelly out of there alive. Whatever was on your mind. We're grateful to have Kelly back safe. Excuse me, I want to go be with her. Maybe I wasn't sure it was carrying me. And then I hear him whisper to me that it's a worry and everything's going to be all right, and I knew it was Peter. Very lucky that he had the courage to stand up against those thugs. Kelly, do you remember what happened before Peter, Peter brought you out? Mason, can't that wait? No, I don't mind, Daddy. Maybe if I talk about it, I'll get it out of the way faster. I was at my dressmaker's house, and all of a sudden, two men broke in holding guns, and they knocked her out, and then I went to fight him, and then they tied me up. And then, and then they must have knocked me out, too. Because when I came to, my dressmaker was gone. And that's when they made me make the recording to you, and they were hitting me around the whole time because I didn't do it right. We'll find them, Kelly. I'll see that they're put away for life. I hope they are, Mason, because they deserve to be. Anyway, after that, I was led to this car, and they drove me all these different places, and finally they brought me here, and I heard those guys talking to Peter and telling him what to do. One of them said that they didn't trust him and they didn't want him there. And then I heard a helicopter close by, and the men got all panicky, and one of, one of them said, why don't you just kill the girl? Sweetheart, it's all right. And then there were gunshots. And somebody pulled me out of the car, and there were more shots everywhere. I was so scared, Daddy. I was positive I was about to be killed. But then Peter was there holding me, taking care of me. There's an ambulance. Why would they have an ambulance if she's not seriously hurt? I don't know, Joe. I'm frightened, too. I want to help her. I... You can't help her that you'd only hurt yourself I did, there's no way you'd understand what I'm going through I'm too sure about that the point is that if you were in there with her you couldn't do anything more than is already being done but you could get arrested and be sent back to jail 